Hey Russell fam, in today's video we are going to do a flip through of Saxon Math 8-7 with pre-algebra. Be back in just a second. Hi, my name is Becky and welcome to our Russell's Loving Life YouTube channel. Here on this channel we talk about homeschooling, homemaking, and everything in between. I am a homeschooling mom of two and I have been homeschooling since 2012. We also have a blog which is russellslovinglife.com. Make sure to check that out. There I give you tips and tricks and things that I have learned through my years of homeschooling. If you are new to this channel, please consider subscribing and clicking that little bell notification down at the bottom. That just lets you know every time we upload a new video. And if you are a returning Russell fam, we are so glad you are back. This will be my sixth year using Saxon Math. I love it. It works for us. The spiral, spiral approach is what works best for my family. I say that in a lot of my videos. If you're not sure what spiral, spiral approach is, sorry, I can't talk. It is where you talk about a subject and then you learn something else and then you come back and you talk about the top subject and then you come back and learn and you just keep building and growing on that. So it's not a master and forget it for a test or anything like that. It is here we've learned it. Now here's another part that goes with it. Now let's go back to this first part. Now let's do the second part. And it just keeps building and growing from there. So let's turn this camera around and I'll show you what I'm talking about. With Saxon Homeschool Math, sorry, 8-7 um, with pre-algebra, you get the test and worksheets. You get the solutions manual. And you get the workbook or the, the book, the lesson book. You don't write in here, um, you write it on notebook paper, so it's not like you get actual worksheets for each lesson. Let's show you. All right, here is what you're going to be learning this year from the table of contents. That goes to lesson 19. And I'm trying to show you everything that is taught this year because a lot of people say, oh, do I need to teach this? Do I need to jump to pre-algebra? Well, that is totally up to you and your child and how they are doing on their levels. But this is everything that is taught. And there is 120 lessons. There's 12 investigations um, that are in there. And then I'll show you what I'm talking about on here. Okay, here's, there's your list of materials for each lesson that you're going to need. All right, here's lesson one. All right, here's your warm up that you go through. Here is the new concept that is taught. There's some examples. And then some more examples. And then here's your lesson practice. That is everything you have learned in just this lesson. And then as you go through there, you're going to have mixed problems, which is going to be a mixture of all the lessons you have learned throughout the year. So let me show you back here. All right here we're talking about slope. Then here's the new concept that we're learning. There's more examples. And then you get over here and here is your practice set for this lesson. And 
And then you get over here to mixed practice. And if you see there's little numbers under it right here, that tells you that came from lesson 92. So if you're having any tr questions or trouble, you can refer back to that lesson and go from there. That's what all those little numbers mean once you get to the mix practice on here. So there is the workbook or the book. And then your solution manual has all the answers that you're going to need in here. Because believe me, I had to have a refresher course on a lot of math and I'm really good at it. But it's like riding a bike, you just got to get back in there. And then here are the test and worksheets that it comes with. Like here are the time tests that you're going to go through. And it tells you use with lesson one. And so the first several lessons starts off as just kind of a refresher, picking up where you left off last year, working on basics. Then, you know, here's lesson nine, where you get into some equations. And then here it says use for lesson 10. And then it says tell you to use for test one. So when you get to that, you know you're having a test. And so you go back here to the back where the tests are, after you get past all that, and it tells you your testing schedule. So you're going to have a test every five lessons and then typically there are 20 of these on a test, 20 problems on a test and it's just front, front page, no front and back. So you'll do a time test as well as this test and that is everything that you get with Saxon 87 with pre-algebra. I hope this video was helpful. I hope you got all the information that you needed. If you have any questions, drop them down in the comments. I will be happy to answer them about Saxon math. As always, remember to be kind, be careful, be considerate, and have a great day. Bye.